I think that that cap over there, which is... Today at Henrico High School, we are running a series of interactive stations to help these new drivers learn about safety. So the students are rotating through four different stations that try to focus on different areas of driver safety. One of the stations is our golf cart course. They either drive the station while being distracted by different tasks or by wearing our drunk driving goggles. All right, you'll stop, I'll take the glasses off. These big cones right here, you just go in and out, serpentine them. You can take them off for a hot second so you can get to see where you're braking off, because that's important. I couldn't even like start, like I didn't know where like, the gas or the um, brake was. But it was like, as soon as I put them on, like I got really dizzy. But once I got going, it was like, all I saw was like a blur, like it was just the orange cones. I couldn't even tell which way I was going. Knowing that, like, if that's how it really feels, like I would be terrified to drive, you know, under the influence. They're also going through a walk the line station, which go through the three different tests that an officer would do if they suspected a driver of driving under the influence of alcohol. So eat a leg, and point the toe, look down, count with the 30 seconds, and arms stay down by your side. If arms come off your side more than six inches, that's a clue, and that, that shows a sign of impairment for a clue. I just tried lifting my foot up before I put the glasses on, and it was really easy for me. But once I put the glasses on, I just, like, it was so, I, I felt so dizzy. I didn't know what was going on. It was so hard for me to concentrate. And, like, I realized, like, if I'm drunk and I'm doing those tests, it would be so hard for me to even do it because, I've, because I'm drunk and, like, I can't comprehend what's going on. We also have our car care out here today from AAA. They are walking through the general car care steps that a teen would need to take either on a daily basis, a monthly basis, or an annual basis. Uh, most manufacturers now are color coding the items that they say it's okay to check. They want you to check. Like since we're all starting to drive, we should know how to like work on the cars and know what to check so that we don't get in a crash or like blow up the engine or something. And we learned how to check the oil and we learned like the different types of fluids. That... What does it look like? It looks like a radiator maybe? Yeah. Okay, so this is coolant. I learned that um, on the side of the door of the car, it tells you all the stuff, like how much air you're supposed to put in your tires, and I didn't know how to do that. At this station, we are talking about airbag safety um, and the importance of wearing our seat belts. So you want to sit at least 10 inches away from that wheel so that the airbag has room to deploy and then it starts to deflate. Well, this is a great supplement to the driver education program and it's a way for them to really engage in their learning in a different and I think more impactful way. I hold it. <laughs>